We're live, people. Holy Joe Rock and Roll in Zamosh. Finally, the perfect city. Designed by an Italian architect. <laughs> Pan Zamosh's plan was to build the perfect city. So, yeah, this place is, it is beautiful. I'm going up the Rathaus steps or the the mayor's house? No, Rot House. This is a town hall, which is, was placed in the center of the Rinnick as opposed to the traditional method, which would be to place the Rot House off to the side. Hey there. I gotta say, this is a beautiful city. It really is. Um, it was about an hour and a half drive from where I was am staying, which is about 20... 22 kilometers south of Lublin, right? So I had to go up, up past Lublin. There's a new super highway connection that kind of goes so goes around Lublin, and then the last 20 mi 20 ah, last 20 kilometers was under construction. So stop and go. But look, you can see behind me, you know the traditional. Oh, these are traditional Polish style. No, uh, uh, maybe the Italian style, guys. And then over here, when they do the build up that covers the roof, that's Polish style. That's known as Polish style. But compared to Krakow, I mean, I've only been here about an hour walking around. Had a, had a, actually, we went to an Italian restaurant because I'm with two of my younger kids. They wanted pizza. But there's so many people there. They said that it would be an hour wait for the pizza, so I said, So yes, the moga yes, the benji shipko, moja pasta. And they said, Yeah, so we got some pasta. I got we got two lasagnas and some kids disc dish it was like a bolognese noodles. It was pretty good. It was really, really good. I'm really surprised. Don't go down. You know, Italian food is the world's most popular. <laughs> Maybe not a more befitting place in Zamos and to have some Italian food, although, whatever, I wanted a pizza. <laughs> but this place is pretty cool, I, mean, I love the colors. Kind of has a res reminder of like Gdansk. Gdansk has a lot of city uh, buildings that are colorful like this. Of course, it's right on the Baltic Sea. But this here we are basically lock landlocked. City is not that big. It is really peaceful, it's really quiet. No, I haven't been to the Zamosh Zoo yet. Um, I don't know that I will go. But there's a pretty, as you can see behind me, you know, this is the, I'm, I'm up on the, this is the Rat House, right? And I climbed up the stairs. So that I got this, this cat, cat bird position. And you can see the whole Rennick. It is a beautiful place. It is really beautiful, man. And it is peaceful, and I haven't seen any hashtag Islam sucks balls here, so that's pretty cool, really cool. Some storm clouds may be coming in, but I think we'll be fine. Got to walk around for about an hour, kill that beer buzz. You know what I'm saying? I'm not supposed to drink and drive, but after eating all that lasagna, I think it'll sop up most of the alcohol. Should be all right. Let me just do the change the camera. So here you go. I'm gonna pan from my right to the left. And you can see it's really a wonderful common space here, you know, the main square here. And just the buildings are beautiful. And you can see underneath, you know, there's this this foundation, whatever you want to call it, where there's shops underneath there potentially. And also it provides a, a, a walkway, right? If it's raining, you could be underneath there. Stay right here. I'm on live. So, this is just one area. Obviously there's a lot of other areas in, in Zamosh. There's obviously other areas. There's the fortifications around the town. Because this was a very, um, I guess rich, rich in you know in terms of you know the the Panzamush who built this, the city was rich. Um, they obviously they wanted to protect it. It was a trading trading route, part of the trading route. So they built giant fortifications and walls around the place. Some of them are still standing. 
it's too far for me to run over there and do it live, but I might take some footage and do it later. See, I'm coming down the steps from the Rat House. And by the way, I mean, obviously Polish people who watch uh, Polish cinema know this movie was, this, uh, this, this town was the focal point of many movies, but there was one movie in particular where it was a love drama with that, that guy Adam, Adam Ski or Adam Czech. What's his name? Tomasz or Lukasz or whatever. He's in every single movie. Uh, he's like the only good-looking uh, Polish actor. Only Now he's going bald. <laughs> I think he was in that movie anyway. He seems to be in every single comedy or love comedy. And anyways, there was like a balloon, uh, a hot air balloon involved in that movie. I don't even remember the name of the movie. I just remember seeing it with my wife. And and yeah, it was took place here and then, you know, whatever. This is where the climax of the scene was. The guy, the guy or the girl, they get together in this hot air balloon and they sail off. But it's cool being here. It's really cool being here. I see a statue over there. Oh, you're not gonna be able to see it and I can't zoom in, but there's a, uh, a guy on a horse. It's a cool place. Definitely Kraken Hill's bigger. I can't say, it's not about better or better or not better. Kraken Hill's is certainly bigger. But this certainly is a peaceful, wonderful little place, man. Definitely gotta see it. All right, thank you for watching. This is Holy Joe Rock and Roll, reminding you to always make it happen for the captain. Two hots in a cot or three hots in a cot. You can be here, man. Jump on a plane, jump on a train, jump on a bus. Yo, thumb it. Zamos, you gotta see this place. It's really nice. Always make it happen for the captain because you're the captain. <laughs>